आई एम श्योर यू आर एन्जॉइंग दी ए डब्ल्यू एस सीरीज गाइज लेट्स गो हैड एंड ट्राई टू होस्ट आवर फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन इन ई सी टू इंस्टेंस एंड एक्सेस इट फ्रॉम द ब्राउजर लेट्स सी ऑल द डिटेल्स ऑफ दैट सो गाइज फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच फर्स्ट थ्री वीडियोज ऑफ दिस सीरीज काइंडली गो हैड एंड वॉच दोज फर्स्ट बिकॉज दिस वीडियो मे बी लिटिल डीप फॉर यू इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दोज कॉन्सेप्ट ओके इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू डिप्लॉय ए एप्लीकेशन इन ए डब्ल्यू एस दैट इज एमेजॉन वेब सर्विसेस ओके फॉर दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट आर द बेसिक्स ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल डिप्लॉयमेंट देन वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज दैट एप्लीकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिप्लॉय आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दैट देन आई विल शो यू दी क्विकली डिप्लॉयमेंट इन द लोकल मशीन हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक वेन यू डिप्लॉय इन लोकल हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक इट्स बेसिकली ए फ्लास्क वेब एप ओके एंड देन वी विल माइग्रेट इट टू ए डब्ल्यू एस ओके then we will use the application from open internet so we will deploy in aws and we will use from open internet to do some prediction okay and then we will shut down so that we don't pay anything extra fine let's go ahead guys very very interesting video ensure you watch till end you will learn lot of things okay first of all understanding basics of machine learning application so every time somebody talks of machine learning application right then two things should come to your mind okay one is training and other is prediction right assuming it's a supervised problem just for an example you can you can think a supervised problem okay training and prediction now when i'm saying that i will deploy my application to aws then in this case in today's video i will use a pre trained model okay what i will use i will use a pre trained model for prediction purpose pre trained model i will say here and what my application does is if you give some inputs it will give you the prediction okay so once we understand this part then you need to understand for prediction part what all things may be needed so what all things may be needed for prediction part is your model model is nothing but your trained model that i spoke here pre trained model that you will need because you need that for prediction plus supporting file so this is also an interview question guys people can ask you like what supporting files you are talking about right so supporting files can be like let's say you are doing some category encoding in your training um you are doing some one hot encoding or um you are doing some uh, you know uh, categorical variable buckets you are creating many things like that those can be the supporting files for example if you are doing a fit transform or tf idf then you will need that trained vector right to to do the same thing in the prediction so all those supporting files based on what you are doing fine so what is my application that i am going to deploy so my application is trained on a data called income expense data what data i am calling this data as income expense data okay very very simple to understand i have kept the model so that it's easy for you to understand so what will be the few important columns in this data there will be income of a person okay and there will be expense of a person okay and then there will be age of the person okay so what what is the hypothesis that i'm trying to prove from this machine learning model is people in their younger age right so somebody who is in let's say uh um, who's age 21 or 24 people in their younger age tend to spend more and save less okay however people in the in their you know later stage of their career they kind of don't spend that much they are in a mindset of investment and saving that is the hypothesis of this model just to give you an understanding and what my model does is if you give that's a trained model okay so if you give income of a person okay if you give let me okay understand this as c if you give income of a person and if you give age of a person right then this model will predict what will be the expense of this person okay so what two things this model will take as input income and age okay it will take as input and it will tell you what will be the expense of the person so this is a high level about what all things you will need for machine learning model deployment in general and overview of application now let me go to my desktop guys and show you the application come here this is my prediction expense application okay so you can see here prediction of the expense fine 
in this application you can see there are multiple files so i was talking to you about income expense data so this is the data i will give you all these files okay this is the data and i told you i need to have a trained model so that trend model is nothing but this model.pkl file okay so this file will do the prediction rest of the things are this entire thing is built in python flask okay so there will be a app.py and there will be a model.py request.py kind of thing i will not go into detail of how flask works okay but try to understand this is a trained model where model.pkl is a trained model object and i can call this model so let's try to use the model in my local machine so in my local machine i will go and open anaconda prompt what i will open guys i will open anaconda prompt okay this is anaconda prompt so I showed you my file is kept where my file is kept on my desktop. Okay. This is my Anaconda prompt. Okay. And where, where I am now, what is my directory? Uh, I mean, uh, this is the directory, right? Uh, C users Aman R. Okay. So uh, normally desktop is inside one drive. So let me go inside one drive and there will be a folder with that name. Let me go inside desktop. Okay. Let me, let me make it clear does not work here clr or cls yeah so dir uh, i'm inside desktop in desktop i will go inside my prediction folder okay then i will do one more time cls so that screen is clear and now if i do dir you will see those files okay whatever there is inside that prediction expense so let me go inside prediction expense i will do one more time dir these are the files that i was showing you now these files are the same files that you see here okay now what I want to do is I want to launch launch my application because I want to deploy in my local deployment means it, it is kept in a folder. I just want to open that endpoint. Okay. So what I will do is I will just go here and say, I will just go here and say Python, Python app.py. Okay. Python app.py. At the moment I say Python app.py, it will start running the application in my local. Okay, so it says running on 127.0.015000. This is a pretty simple thing to do. So if I come to my browser, right, then let me make it a little small. If I come to my browser, right, so you will see here, if I go localhost 5, this is the file. This is the your application that I was talking about. Okay, now you can think this like a, like a web page or something. Okay, in the first box, you have to give income. For example, income, I give 21,000 and age, I give 21. So if a person is 21 years old, income is 21,000, then predict expense. So expense is 12,396. So a big chunk of the income. Since the person is young, the person is spending. So what this machine learning model is doing, guys, let me show you in file quickly. Okay, so when I call that application, right? Which file I ran? I ran app.py if you remember. So this is my app.py. Okay. So what this app.py does, it just calls the HTML file and it will call the predict function. Don't take much tension on if you are not understanding all the details of this. This is Flask things. Okay. The, the intention of this session is not Flask thing, but AWS deployment. Okay. So this is the, this is the file that I'm calling and I'm able to make the prediction. Okay. Fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, deploy the same application in AWS. And now you can see I'm calling from local machine, local host uh, colon 5000, that is port number 5000. But what I want to do is I want to do this using open internet, which means if you want to try and I keep my endpoint open here, uh, it will be accessible to you also, okay? So let me show you a step-by-step -step how that is done. So uh, first thing first, guys, we will go to our AWS management console. We will go to our instances, okay? If you remember, we had created this instance, unfold DS server, right? So what I will do is I will first of all start this instance because I want to use it now, okay? And I will just say start instance, fine? Now you will see that this, this instance will get, it is starting actually, it says pending, so it is starting. Let it start. It will start in some time. Meanwhile, as you know, we need putty for connecting to this instance, right? So I will go here simply and open putty. Okay. So I will go here and open putty. In the putty, what is the host name that we will be giving? We will be giving the public IPv4 address. So let me go to this instance. 
and let me copy the address. So this is the address. So instance is running. Okay. So whatever we try to do, start the instance. It is starting. Fine. Now let's let's go to the putty guys. Give ec2 hyphen user at this. Okay. And then we have to go the we have to give the credential also, right? So you will go here in the auth in the credential and you will browse your which file that we did that unfold DS key pair, right? Say this open. Accept. Okay. So as you can see now you are inside AWS machine. Let me try to see if I can increase the size here, guys, so that it will be easy for you guys. Change settings, appearance. Why it is not changing the size? Okay. Let me let me try to make it 14. Okay. Apply. Yeah, I think little bit size has increased. This is fine. Okay. So I'm inside this and I was writing DIR. That's not Linux command. Okay. So LS. So I had I had just transferred some files that day, right? So those files are here. But what I want to do, I want to transfer my application now. Which software will help me? Win SCP will help me. Okay. So come here and say win SCP. Okay. And in win SCP, what I'm going to do, I'm going to log in again in that server. Okay. So host name will be the same that we have copied. And username, we can give EC2 hyphen user. And for password, we will give the same file. Okay. So come here in the authentication and browse that file uh, in the downloads unfold DS key pair. Okay and say okay login yes authentication failed no support authentication method okay server refused using username okay let me try one more time guys without giving username if it is connecting uh advanced authentication unfold ds key pair dot ppk okay login Username EC2 hyphen user. Okay, so this is connected now. Maybe some problem that time. Anyway, so this is connected now. I am on my desktop. If you can see on the left hand side, on the left hand side is my uh, is my local machine. On the right hand side is my Amazon machine. Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me take this entire thing and paste it here. Let me take this prediction expense entire folder and paste it here. That is on my desktop. OK, I pasted it. Now I will just quickly show you what are the files here, guys. So a static and template is for CSS. Don't worry. App.py is for opening your application. This is your training data. No need of that at all. There is one important file that I want to show you here, guys. And name of that important file is requirement.txt. So if you come here, you will see a file called numpy flask pickle for scikit-learn. So I'm saying I need all these four packages for my application to run. Okay. If your application is using any other packages, you should put inside requirements. Fine. Now we have put, uh, we have come, we have placed our file. So let's go here and say LS. Let me make it little big so that LS minus LRT, I will say. Okay. So prediction expense is what we transferred now. In inside our Amazon machine. Okay. Uh, what next, guys? So first of all, let's let's install it. Sudo, uh, I mean update it. Sudo yum update. So what is that I'm trying to do? I'm trying to update if there are any things to be updated here. Okay. So I will say yes. So it's kind of better practice to update update everything whenever you log in. I'm updating. OK, so update is completed, guys. Now, um, one thing that you have to do is you have to go inside prediction and try to launch that app. OK, so I'm inside just like I did in local Anaconda. OK, so I'm inside this and inside this you will see those files. Let me clear the screen. OK, so LS minus LRT. All these files that you saw there uh, in local machine is here. OK, so what I want to do next is I want to um, I want to launch my application obviously okay so first thing is in this requirements whatever whatever files are whatever packages are there that should be installed these these things right but for that to install i should have pip okay so let me see if i have pip in my machine or let me try to uh, run the command for installation so i have kept the command here and 
if I want to install everything, right? So this is the command. Pip3 is by default in the machine, okay? So pip3 install requirement.txt. Let's see if there are some errors. It is installing, okay? So I think it will install all the packages. If it installs, good for us, okay? If there is some error, we will see how to fix that. Okay, so you put all your files in requirements and it, it installed without any error. That is done. Now, what I should do is, I should come here and try to launch my app and see if there are any errors, okay? So where is my app, guys? Let me clear this, ls minus lrt, which is my app file, app.py, right? Python 3, app, app.py, okay? And if you say enter, then it says something like running on this, okay? Running on this and uh, you know, it is giving us some debugger, debugger pin, etc. But there is something that we need to change in the file. Let me show you what is that we need to change. Then only this app we can access from outside, okay? So for now, let's try to access the app from outside. Uh, how do you access the app from outside? You will just go here and say, there will be a public IPv4 DNS. If you see here, public IPv4 DNS. And if I go here and say control V, and I say colon 8080, it should be accessible. But I don't think it will be accessible now. There is problem with that. I will show you what the problem is. It will keep running and it will not be accessible, okay? So what we need to do guys is, we need to come here and do little change in one of the file. I will tell you why. See here in my model.py, not model.py, app.py. In app.py, you see two lines here, okay? App.run, the first one is for AWS and second one is for local installation. So what I'm saying is make the host as 0.0.0.0 and make the port as 8080. I will tell you why I am doing this, but first of all, let me transfer this file there, the new version of that. So go to WinSCP, go to WinSCP, take the new version. New version is app.py new version, which I edited now, okay? Go here, go here and put it here, okay? Go here and put it here, done. And app.py now should be having the zero, zero, zero thing that, that I told you, right? So let me stop it, control C and LS, just to double ensure, let, let's clear the screen first, LS minus LRT, okay, and cat app.py the last line should have 0, 0.00 thing. No, it is still commented, why? Why, why, why? We transferred, right? Uh, App.py, if we open, it's like this, right? Why it is not coming up? Mm, okay, 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 got it. I, I uh, put it in other location, no problem. Let's override this. Okay, let's override this and now our file should have what we what we want. Okay, control L. Okay, so this is the line bottom one is the commented. So I want four zeros to be in the IP and port to be this. Okay, let's clear the screen. And let's go back. So just to show you that app will not be accessible if you see see here can cannot reach this page. So our app is not accessible till now. Okay. So let's make the app accessible. How to do that? So go here and we have to actually, now we have put our code in the AWS, but we have to open the gates for the public access. That gate is not open, okay? Try to understand this guys, you have not opened the gates for people to access your, your uh, server or your machine learning endpoint, okay? So come here and create a new security group, okay? Go to security group and you can create a new security group. Let me, because of Zoom, I have my photo here. So some things are not visible. Create security group, okay? And I will say, give give public access, just a name, okay? Give public access. And in the description, I will say, allow access from, from open internet, okay? And these things, I will keep it blank. But in the inbound rule, inbound means inbound traffic, right? So this type will be all traffic, okay? And this source will be, source will be anywhere IPv4. Now at the moment I say anywhere IPv4, 
you will see this port number by default it is 0 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. that is the reason in my code i have given 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 okay so this is one rule that i have added which tells that all traffic from ipv4 anywhere in the world you have to allow now i'll say add rule add rule means it will add another rule i think i, I just need to save it actually create security group okay so this security group is getting created now am i able to access from open internet still i think no so what we have to do we have to go to our instance that we are using and add the security group so go to the instance that we are using go to the security and security groups okay and here there should be an option of adding a security group uh, where is that option action edit copy new security group there should be an option to okay give me a moment let me pull this little down this is my machine right actions security okay change security groups okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a give public access to my running instance okay i added the public access to my running instance where i have deployed my model and say save okay i say saved now let's try accessing the app here or i need to restart the app we will see if i need to re relaunch the app so obviously i need to relaunch the app the reason for that is as you would have seen it was starting on a different port okay let me go here and try to relaunch my app so relaunch the app so if you see this time it is saying running on 0 0.0.0.0 all addresses so let's try opening now here it comes okay so here you can say for a 21000 earning person 21 years is the age then what will be the expense this will be the expense okay and you can see the same expense we predicted in our local machine as well fine so congratulations guys if you are doing with you with me you have deployed your first application in aws where it is running in aws ec2 instance it is running okay so this is this is um, you know a lot of learning for you if you are following whatever i am doing if you are not following let me let me quickly in two minutes summarize what all we did okay we have an application that is a flask machine learning application i told you what is that application in short okay in short i told you what is that application that application takes income and age of a person and predicts expense okay income and age of a person and predicts expense every time you want to deploy a machine learning model if you are not training then you will need your model objects plus supporting files in our case there are no supporting files just model object is what we are deploying okay and i have kept the entire thing on my desktop i showed you how to do the local deployment using um, using uh, uh, anaconda prompt then i pushed everything to the server then i installed the required packages i showed you how using request dot requirement.txt okay and then i went ahead created a security group for my instance i launched launched that instance and then i'm able to run my application in aws here as you can see and i am able to predict using the prediction function now one last thing so that you don't end up paying money okay um, let's go ahead and close it guys because it's a open running application okay so first of all i will just kind of close my win scp uh, without saving workspace yes i don't want to save um, here uh, this is your ec2 instance connection let me stop the application first Control c okay and if i stop this application and i want to you know go back here you will see it will say application is not running or how, how it will come right application is stopped from the back end can't reach the application okay so i stopped this application let me close this but most important part you have to shut down your ec2 instance come here click on this and say shut down my instance uh ta -ta -ta, instance state right terminate not terminate stop instance okay stop instance so you have to double ensure that your instance is stopping otherwise you may end up paying some money okay which i don't want to happen depending on what is that you are running 
why stop instance did not start also stop okay successfully stopped why this is okay stopping so it will stop fine so we covered all the important things guys deployment in local machine we did and we migrated to aws and we we use the application from open internet and we shut down so this was all about this video guys please give me a thumbs up if you like this video please share with your friends also see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care